This is the Podcraft Podcast, where we talk about beer from Southern California and beyond. Today, episode 10, uh, September 21st, will feature a beer from Forager and Drecker. This is the Podcraft, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. I'm your host, Chris. Each other host, Charlie. Yo. Got tech guy, Steve, providing a little bit of legitimacy. We got... Josh, got a special guest today, Josh. In studio. Yeah. Bam. Right. Captain America. I'm excited about this. I love beer. You know that, right? <laughs> you do? It's a shock to me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so today bit. we're going to, uh, it's going to be a little Midwestern border battle between uh, Minnesota's Forager and uh, North Dakota's Drecker. I think we're cracking the Forager first, but let's hear, let's but hear first. about your travels. Or are you going to do your, your part? Yeah, so uh, first, guys, uh, you know, feel free to connect with the show uh, and get all the show notes, links for everything mentioned today on thepodcraft.com. Uh, the website contains links to help you subscribe so you won't miss an episode, photos of the beers we consumed, uh, more information and details on, uh, uh, on the beers and links to the breweries. Just head to the uh, thepodcraft.com. Sound cool. Let me hear about your story about where you went. Oh, yeah. So I uh, went to Minnesota for oh, a... Uh, splash this open. Wow. A little, uh, little family time and some... Uh, and some, some, some Launch uh, that one. Brewery tours. Well, that's so not the, good. Uh, that's not good at all. So we got we got this forager. We'll pour these and then we'll... Uh, I'm going to need a shower to soak down quite well. I'm way ahead of you. It's delicious. Yeah. So our first <laughs> our first beer uh, is is watermelon fluff and aid from uh, from Forager. So the um, yeah, I hit a couple of breweries while I was back there. Uh, went to Minnesota, visit some uh, surprise birthday party for my mom and uh, right and uh, my wife's uh, grandma. Super so cool. um, the uh, the the day after I got there, I, I went down to this brewery. So Forager is a uh, it's a restaurant and brewery in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, they. Uh, Man, so they they sell these crawlers in three packs. So you get this. Uh, this delicious. was this was one of them. This fluffinade. So the um, it's a a scratch kitchen, and they uh, they make some some pretty uh, some pretty phenomenal uh, beers. Sounds good to me. It it's delicious. By the way, it's probably one of the f- more fruity things I've drank this week. Yeah. So that's a uh, a watermelon shanty. Um, I'll do it. I like it a lot. I know that I've had a watermelon beer. I you, have. Usually it's hard to get the watermelon into the beer. Yeah, that, I can that taste. I can but taste it's it. definitely a watermelon. You can taste the watermelon, and I, what I'm getting is that little fluffiness of the marshmallow fluff. Yeah, kind of like soft. It's kind almost like a. Huh? It's it's the closest thing I've had as a a Berliner style sour that has the feel, the mouthful of a hazy. Yeah, which it's is a, kind of a cool. It's almost. I mean, if without that little citrusy point at the beginning you could almost say it's a fruited hazy yeah in that got a little tart to it it's a little bit a little sweet a little tart sweet. yeah definitely yeah. definitely sweet yeah the it's kind of i don't know about the smell if i just had to smell the beer and then drink it i uh is that the watermelon or is that it's my riny i smell a riny so they probably just throw the whole thing in there maybe not i don't know it's pretty wild there it to, smells uh, great it tastes great i don't like it can't complain no, yeah. So this place was phenomenal. I, I drove down there. They uh, they were releasing. Um, they had released these uh, a three pack of of these crawlers, and then they the, the day I went down, they were releasing a, a special release of three other um, fruited uh, sours. And they, um, but the guy said they sold out in like two minutes. They do their re- they do wow. their releases online. Uh, for some reason, I decided that I would drive down to the brewery, <laughs> thinking that somehow my driving would be faster than the internet. And by the way, we're drinking out of these really special glasses from uh, Just Glass Designs out of uh, Clovis, New yeah, Mexico. Yeah, what's the deal with these glasses, Charlie? I ordered them off Etsy. Yeah, They're good weird. looking glasses. They sure are. You'll be able to see uh, see pictures of those on the on the webpage. Um, yeah. Did so you guys drink any great. good beers this, this week? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I drank, uh, well, I was on my Colorado, Utah... New Mexico, or not New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and Nevada trip. So I did some trails out there for buying with some friends. I took a couple of really delicious beers along, and I saved them for myself, which is how I usually roll. So <laughs> Very well. Yeah. No, I shared them. I mean, there was a stout that I, I cracked open that uh, 
uh, humble C that uh, cashew and nibs and rock that one one night by the fire. It was pretty delicious. I had one of those yesterday. Mm-hmm. In Minnesota. Good choice. Was it good? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Um. So I I, I went for lunch at this uh at this place Ansari's in in Egan. It's a a pretty well known beer uh beer they place. Had that and, um, on tap? No, he didn't have it on tap. I had a crowler with me oh. that I brought in, and then um. He'll just, you know, uh, we just bottle fee, tasters. corking yeah. fee, or whatever they call it. Yeah, cracking, cracking no, the can fee. Yeah, so we just uh, then then uh, you just share with uh, with anybody that wants it there at the bar. Did so the, the 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 owner was you know would walk around and and uh, and pour it. Good deal. So it's, yeah, it's, it's my type in- of my type of establishment. You go and you buy one <laughs> beer and then bring two of your own. <laughs> two for one, man. Everybody so. enjoy it or what? Oh yeah, they they were like, "Are you kidding me?" It was it was unbelievable. I mean, it's a it's a great beer, you know. I love it. Love it a lot too, man. That's a that's one good beer. I've been pretty st- stoked over the last couple of weeks. October Fest beers, Fest beers are coming out. Walked into this house and I got a Bottle Logic October Fest. It kind of don't tell anybody. Hit the spot right away. Yeah. I just I love Pre-gaming. this time of the year for that. Just to the maltiness of an October a Fest mm-hmm. beer. I've been I've had a couple of them in the past couple of weeks and it's uh they're very delicious that's they've been nice yeah you don't get them all year round you kind of have to wait around for them mm-hmm. but um i had this one i had the tent beer from uh modern times yep cracked one of those uh that's a good beer stove pipe uh cans the other day it's always nice when you get a couple extra ounces in your can yeah um but yeah and uh uh yeah this anything oktoberfest right now has been pretty fun to have some fest beers yeah for yeah. sure how about yourself steve um just some stone beers they had yep. a documentary that they did online so oh I yeah did, i did that it's like 35 bucks and then you got 10 beers or something like that yeah how was it did you do it um i mean where they gave you 10 12 ounce beers yeah yeah it, and it wasn't anything super special i don't think in the in the packet but did they i mean did they talk about like just the history of stone uh, then it was a little bit it? of that I, I, mm-hmm. I, it wasn't that well produced uh-huh yeah says um i I think i think everybody's trying their best yeah yeah with the way things are yeah so there's a thing in the midwest and in minneapolis i was um it's called the beer dabbler and and normally it's a beer festival but they um but now i guess they they uh for the first part they had like 12 breweries they got a beer from each brewery and then you know produce like the same type of thing where you could go you know do tasters of these of these different breweries and in sessions i think i think it was like three or four episodes or something along those lines yeah We, we uh Go ahead, Steve. No, I was just going to say the Pilsner, they're the um, Iter Knight Pilsner, which they did with Metallica. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. It's pretty good. Never, that never was, land. Yeah. It was really, really good. <laughs> That's a really cool idea, you know? Do you, yeah. um... Well, and that, that beer and um, Arrogant Bastard are in that special category. They're not stone brewery beers. They created a like a side company that holds those because huh. I guess there must have been some... Huh? Something going on, right? Contractual, yeah. Differences in some copyright laws yeah, or yeah. something. No, no, no. They, so yeah. So when they say it's brewed by Stone, but it's actually owned by some other group, and okay, I, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the show yeah. notes. Yeah, no, that's interesting for sure. Well, I rolled through Colorado, and uh, we ended up uh, coming down Black Bear Pass, which is a pretty treacherous little s- section of uh, trail at the end, but. Uh, we rolled into Telluride at the bottom of the hill, and I really don't like Telluride. I mean, if, I mean, it's just it's just not a fun town to be in. It's super uh, touristy. But uh, we ended up uh, rolling up to this gas station, and I went inside, and shockingly, they had some pretty doggone good beer in there. Not from Telluride, but from uh, Durango, from a brewery called Ska Brewing. And let me tell you what. They had a tropical hazy IPA that was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. I bought a six pack of it. It was gone before we practically left town. It was, it was delicious. And uh, they had another hazy too that was really good. It was just their standard hazy, I guess. But uh, the cool thing about the the tropical one, it was ca- it was a can from another uh, beer that they had left over, and they just bought a wrap. Yeah. And put it around it. I thought that was amazing. You know, these guys are, you know, recycling basically on their own without even having to do it. So, hey, cheers to Ska Brewing. They made good beer and they used up some uh, cans they had left over. So, there pretty impressed with that. And the beer was awesome. Yeah, I had I had a couple of pretty good beers. I um, The other day for, for lunch, I ran to uh, down to Toplin Goliath. 
And so I'd, I'd never been there and they had, um, uh, morning delight on tap, which is, um, a bottle. You got to be in a lottery to win it. And, and I mean, it's, uh, then you got to be in Iowa, uh, but they had it on tap. So I, I shot down there and grabbed some chicken wings and, and had that, had a couple other, uh, tasters of their barrel aid. Didn't beers. I see some cheese curds? You did see some cheese curds. I, uh, <laughs> Were they deep fried? Uh, yes. they, yeah, for sure they were. Come. <laughs> yep, uh, beer battered uh, uh, deep fried cheese curds. They're phenomenal. They were, yeah. That was. Uh, so should we move on to this other beer? Yeah. Okay. We're uh, waiting on you. So the yeah, the first beer was phenomenal. Yammering. So our, our second beer here, guys. Uh, the the Drecker Tangerine Mango and Guava Brains uh, Double Fruit uh, Smoothie Sour. So this this Drecker is a is a little brewery from uh, started by four guys I think four or five years ago six years ago I think uh, in uh, in North Dakota Doug, downtown Fargo. I, I love tangerine. You can smell this. I'm holding it away and I can smell it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. Unfortunately, I was only able to um, where I bought these beers. Oh, it's good. Um, oh, it's good. So I actually bought these at a um, at that uh, that place that I was that we were cracking the bottles. I bought a a Jay Wakefield and Horace. Um, uh, what was it? Collab. Yeah, it was a it was a collab uh, collaboration stout. They had a couple of Jay Wakefield can. They had a bunch of cans, a couple of different bottles, and um, they had some Drecker cans in there. So they bring in cans from all over, nice. and then um, you can just buy them right there at the at the restaurant. But you can only buy seventy two ounces to go. And you got to drink. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say yeah, probably had to drink it there. So Charlie couldn't buy anything because yeah, seventy two be ounces is like where he starts. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> So, so I had to, and there, you know, it says like, please do your own math. You know, like, that's oh, a good warm oh. up. They expect you to do that after having a couple yeah, beers. Exactly like right. that doesn't, do they really right. score fair. it at 72? Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, there's got to be a, like a thumb on the scale type thing, you know? Right. I'm, I'm fairly certain they, uh, you know, you probably work does it, that does it, does, can you reset if you go to the car and come back? That's, that's the bigger I think, question. You know, if you probably, if you close that tab and bought another, uh, another year change yeah, clothes, wore a uh, different hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they, uh, so I was able to get two of these cans, and then I guess they sell it at other um, other beer stores around around it's the great. metropolitan area. This but stuff I was is, unable to locate the, it. The nose on it is unbelievable. Yeah. It's, it's and it really, says it's sour, but there's it is there's no, no, it's no, not no. super. Yeah, that's sour. an amazing it's nose like a on there. Fruited, yeah. I mean, just and this is this is where the it, person whose palate is scared of the sour needs to at least try them when they see it on the can because it. Right. This is a. Does it say slushy at the bottom? It's an amazing. It, it it doesn't say slushy, but that certainly is like a slushy. Uh, what's it say on the back? It says gimmicks: tangerine, more tangerine, mango, more mango, guava, more guava, vanilla bean. Those lactose. are my three favorite. Yeah, I was gonna fruits. say you just like hit every single. Yeah, number th- on you know what it does say? It says double fruit smoothie sour. Thank you. I thought I read that. The, the nice thing is too. Not I think, slipping. I think is you, not one of those fruits is carrying it. They're pretty. It's pretty balanced. Like you get, you get yeah, the, you get it all. You get that yumminess from the mango, that little creaminess there. <clears throat> the vanilla kind of muddles it a little bit, but it it makes it smooth Just and right. rich. The tangerine's not taking over, which you would expect it to do. Yeah, it takes over me because that's that's what I love. <laughs> it does on the nose. Yeah, but like on the sip, it no, does on the it. drink, it's fantastic. Yeah. But on the nose, that's all I smell is tangerine and vanilla. I love it. I'm a big fan of tangerine. I already so, said that. So none of these are whales, though, right? No. Yeah, no, they're uh, <laughs> they are accessible. So the 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 um the fluffinate is a rotating. They um I just looked on Untapped and I think it's only been checked in twenty two times. Uh, so you know I think they they release. It's a small place. Like the brewery is really small. And their so is their crowler. It's like a midget crowler yeah. or little person crowler. I'm yeah, sorry. it certainly isn't as big as that as that modern times. No. Um, that is a real crowler. Ounces, that, that crowler. It's probably twenty two. It could be, huh? I, think it's I gotta put my glasses back on. They, um, yeah, the, the archaic Minnesota loss. But you can get so the, it's a rotating. It's a twenty five point four ounces. Okay. It's a seven fifty. Yeah. It's a seven fifty okay. bottle in yeah. a can. So wow, yeah, went so all out on that seven fifty. You, you know, uh, seven fifty bottles are hard to come by right now. So. It's a good number, though. I like that. I like that. That's a definitely a shareable crawler. Um, and you're not trying to, like, figure out what to do with the extra couple ounces. Yeah, this right. is a five-person crawler. That's a three-person Right, it'd be great if crawler. those were locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the 32-ounce crawler we have sitting in front of us is going to be a tough go with four guys. But, you know, well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm committed to it. So. Steve's not allowed to drink. He just can smell. So <laughs> <laughs> we found out what happened on the first podcast when we loaded him up with a couple of stouts he was 
<laughs> he was rolling around on the floor, barking like a dog. Our first <laughs> podcast, we went a little heavy on uh, on the stouts. You gotta you gotta temper yourselves. Yeah, yeah. and you yourselves. you know it's. I think uh, I think it was a four beer. Yeah, we did it four was. beers, two IPAs, two stouts, and a beginning. And a yeah, pace. we had a pre-game. And they were nervous. Yeah, we had a pregame. Right. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, no, yeah, pre you, a pregame. You gotta pace. Yeah. You yes. gotta pace because it it's. Uh, We've learned I'm, a lot. Ten in, in ten episodes. That's, well, it took you that long? No. Well, we learned that it first. That two. was a quick episode. <laughs> that, that, uh, and we we slid a little on the next two. Or so. quick loss in there. That was delicious, though. That was that, some. That, that's uh, that's hard. That's been a hard thing for me is the packaging of stouts. I uh, man, if they could come out with a six ounce can of stouts, that would be for you. Yeah, for me. No, well, it's for me, so I could have alone, it at my yeah, house alone. Alone, alone. alone. Yeah. You know, I don't. I I like. Um, I, I've seen a couple of breweries start doing the, the 12 ounce and the 16 ounce, which is, it's, it's doable. Yeah. You know, I just, it's the bomber, man. When you get that 22, yep. you got to have, just, five you gotta have some people. friends yeah. and yeah. I don't I always like to share. Yeah. You know? the, it's like, there's times where I just, I kind of want it myself. It's difficult. Like, you know, um, Moxa releases, uh, they have the, the 500, um, which, which is, uh, you know, yeah, it's that's a little about 12. Side. Yeah. But those, those 22s, it's, yeah, you can't do it. Like, yeah. And I get it. When you're doing small batch stuff, you got to have a distribution point that works for you, you know. Um, but I do. I I like the f- the 500 milliliter bottles. That's, that's a good go. I mean, I just I popped a couple of sours last night, you know, that were in uh, 500 milliliters, and it was kind of it was nice. It was like a little little more than 12 ounces. You're just you can sip that on your own. You don't you don't feel the burden of a 750 or a, well, especially when they're running up, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15 percent. You know, it's dangerous at that point. I mean, unless you're staying home, I mean, if you're staying home, it's no problem, but or not working the next day. Yeah, that's true. Got to get out of bed occasionally. Okay, boys, we're yeah. going, oh, we're going, we're going, we're going for it. and come to watch. Oh, so, the um, like I'll tell you, the, free. So, you know, I, I spent that time in Minnesota and, and previously, like, um, it was Charlie, you I really, uh, kind of, kind of hit some beers, I think, in Minnesota. You know, I, a lot of times it's the, it's the usual suspects, right? I go accumulate. Um, it was the first time I'd been to Toppling Goliath. Unbelievable brewery. Super, super cool. Two levels. Um, that forager, phenomenal. Great food. Cheese curds. That, uh, tall glass right there. The clean one. Yeah, the clean one. You go ahead and drink out of the dirty glass, Chris. I don't care. I will. I know you. You didn't come here to watch. Beer ain't going to drink itself, man. No. Nope. You got a leak in this can or something. Mm-hmm. Operator error. Come on. Coming that way. With Send it, it over. You, you know the trick here, right? You know what? Pass it. No, no. You? The trick is, and I, I this, is, this is a true trick. So everyone support straight in. If you just do a little like 10 degree turn on it, it comes out the side. You don't spill. Watch. See? You know, just boom. That's okay, Charlie's. That I don't know what you're talking about. That's right? Charlie's. Reason. I didn't spill a thing. Charlie's resi- no, you don't. I didn't spill a thing. <laughs> Who's bringing napkins? <laughs> I didn't come here to watch either, right? <laughs> Except when he does that <laughs> and dumps like a quarter of a beer on the table. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it ain't happening. There's a leak in that dude, man. I'm telling you. You know, that's, I, I always run into that issue with a, with a crowler. Uh, hold on, Steve. Um, yeah. Um. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm, it's like I'm, a tourniquet. I, I'm really gonna blame Charlie's first pour on this because it was in the lip of the can. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm drinking this beer. Hush up. We're Josh having a beer. That. That's probably right there next to the. Um, Got a little wild. You yeah, smell so, the coffee. Did we even talk about what this is yet? Mm-hmm. We did not talk about what. I've this been talking is. about it too much. What did you bring over there, Josh? So I uh, I happened to stop by Modern Times this morning and. Noticed they were uh, crowlering some beers. And I was like, hey, what you crowlering over there? And they said, Monstra Tones. Monstra Tones. Monstra Tones. Did I say Monstra Tones? Because that's yeah, another that good mixture. one. Yeah, it's the Monstra it's Tones, uh, which they bottled a couple months ago. They sold. I bought more than I should have. And again, when they had it in crowlers, I thought, you know, how can you pass it up? So I well, it's grabbed only one. because it's delicious. <laughs> it is. It's uh, that's really good. Modern times, right? Yeah, modern from modern times. Yeah, yeah. So modern times, Mostra um, collab. The uh, Mostra does so many beer collabs. 
you know, when you um when you go into their into uh, into their locations, uh, they have you know a bunch of a bunch of beers. Uh, I mean, there's just all these whales sitting there, right on the uh, on the shelf. It's all these beers that they've collabed with. Um, they actually so uh, I won the the Forager lottery for their um they did two sets of beers for their fifth anniversary, um, and I won one of them, right? So I won the one that releases next Friday, but the um. One of them's uh is a stout that's uh that's a collab with. You got to go back and get it, or You're supposed to. That's uh, that remains to be seen. Yeah. I got a I got a couple irons in the fire though. You don't go worrying. <laughs> Any proxies on this, or you got to be the you guy? You can't. You can't proxy. They um you got it. You got to show up in person, and uh, and then you got so so. And this is great. You know, like we're in kind of kind of strange times, right? You can't have four hundred and fifty people sign. You know. Th- sleep you know overnight in the streets right next to one another or whatever like some beer releases so they you know when you put in they they said hey you have to you have to be available for a nine hour window um and you have to uh you get a you get a an automatically assigned one hour window to show up you don't even get to pick no so they i had a coworker that that uh was like hey i'm good until three o'clock he's like but my you know he's like by by 3 30 i gotta be on the road i gotta be back you know he has a birthday party that night and uh, he caught the four o'clock slot, so he's like, "Whoop, not not for me." So he had to. Uh, but it was cool. They sent in a thing the other day where you could uh, you could decline it, and then they um just yesterday. So they had a their first set released last Saturday. Um, the same same style. Some people must not have shown up yesterday at noon. They um they sold the sets to first come first serve. Wow. So I didn't make it down there uh, imagine being the guy that just shows up just happens to show up that day at the brewery well, get like my mom's gets, gonna, <laughs> like my mom's gonna do in two weeks yeah. <laughs> perfect you don't need a proxy if you got a mom right yeah, i'm like like hey mom uh, can i convince you i'm gonna i'm gonna first i'm gonna send her a uh, a gift card to it for forager. arco gas yeah, for arco gas and for forager <laughs> like oh isn't that a coincidence that'd be no, great the, uh, um well, great she, beers there at least she wouldn't have to mule it all the way out of here yeah, the um, yeah, the place is phenomenal. I mean, great food, great beer. Uh, that Drecker, that was phenomenal beer. Let's get back to this Moster Tones. There it is. I I'll tell you what, like I've had my fair share of barrel aged stouts, and this is this one to me is the balance. Josh, nobody can see you talking with your hands. <laughs> I. I that's not nice, Charlie. I know. It's funny, though. <laughs> I, I'm using my hands. But to me, this one is like sometimes you get the barrel forward and it's like all you can taste is the bourbon barrel. Sometimes yeah. you get the adjunct and all you can taste is the adjunct. And this one, it's just so beautifully balanced with the coffee and the barrel where it's just like they just it's mesmerizing on the palate. You just want to just nurse it down like yeah no it's you uh, take a you take a sip and then you just let it sit in your mouth because you want every part of your tongue to get that flavor well and it's we just, were we were talking about that before we even started on here when just you and i were sitting here and it ended up being uh where i was telling you how many of those tastings have we gone to and tasted these super rich over the top acidic barrel tasting beers these are the things that are going to, I mean, I guarantee you these will sell more than any of those other ones that they have. Well, I would say right now, if you're listening to this and you have a Monster Tones bottle. Save it. It's No, it's ready. <laughs> it's save it. You no, know, it, it, I, I think it's it's ready. I mean, I, I did, a, a, when I first got the bottle, I busted it open like a week later. I don't remember it being this balanced. It's all, It's got almost like a marshmallowy fluff flavor it's, it's in like there chocolate yeah. and i i Coffee. can't i can't remember if they added vanilla bean to this on the a first go maybe we should look that up and find out but it it's if they didn't put vanilla in this and i'm getting that flavor of like that marshmallow fluff with the roasted chocolateness chocolatiness yeah from the coffee there is vanilla bean okay okay it's that like, makes sense it's like yeah. I, I i'm like man it's but yeah. the other thing the, the thing with that is it's it's not vanilla forward it's not coffee no, forward right. no, and no, it's no, not no. It's barrel aged forward it's whatever they're doing over there to make these barrels 
these beers balanced. Yeah. They they, they got a master blender in. over there. They've so, literally locked in. Listen on to this. Stuff. Listen to this. Uh, so it's this breathtaking shrine to darkness was built with a blend of six base beers: Monsters Park, Modem Tones, Mega Devil's Teeth, Oblivion Ring, uh, Dragon Mask, and Infinity Gauntlet. This mega uh, melange uh, was aged in six different barrel types: bourbon, Kentucky whiskey, rye whiskey. Uh, California brandy, port, and rum. Wow. Uh, as if that weren't enough, we then infused it with Mostra coffee beans, Dominican uh, cacao nibs, uh, split Mexico, Veracruz, Madagascar vanilla beans, toasted almonds, toasted coconut. Wait a minute. Is that it? <sighs> oh, it doesn't. Yeah. And then they just go on. Expect a full body stout with an epic amount of uh, coconut, a strong coffee nose, and a rich milk chocolate bar finish. Check. Wow. Yep. Check and, and double check. check. Yeah, yeah, they're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's, chocolate uh, bar finish is true. That I'm getting definitely. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a phenomenal beer. Yeah, it does it. I mean, like this is one of those beers. Like alcohol what, aside, I would I would I would drink this. How much was that? I, uh, you know, a dollar point? amount or yeah. oh, I I I don't know if I can share that, Charlie. Sure no, it's a it's a it's a league. Theory only purchase. Okay, give me a oh. fingers up in the air. I probably comparable to what a bottle. Costs, yeah, a bottle, you know? a bottle was what thirty two dollars, thirty two fifty. Okay, well, that's, that's reasonable. It's, it's I mean, a little more than that, but you know, reasonable. it's yeah, it's reasonable. It's. Uh, I mean, if you if you honestly want something that's delish, and I mean delish, this is something you that can like, go to right. You know, there. if I could get a twelve ounce can of that, like I don't think I'd buy any other beer. <gasps> yeah, yeah you, it yes. I you know that's and that's definitely a a quantity probably running it through a, a, can a can line. It would probably be twenty dollars a can, yeah. if not more, because they would. Well, I've it, seen them at eighteen. Yeah, but they would have to bury when you when you run through a canyon line. You got to bury some of that beer. Like it's not going to yeah. it's not going to make it for you know, coming out coming out in a crowler coming out in a bottle. They're minimizing their waste on that. Yeah. Um. I mean, I've I've talked to them a little bit about. You know, hey, why aren't you canning this morning? They got a, they got a dump. Why don't you talk to them and have them come on here and talk to? They got, they got a, they that got a would dump. Be better, they have to dump three barrels every time they can a beer. So if you're, you're there on something like this, they're probably only getting like twelve to fifteen barrels. So you're gonna be a twenty-five to thirty percent dump. I'd be canning. To canning. Yes, I'd be sitting it. underneath it that canning machine. Right. I, I did tell them. <laughs> That's what they should I, sell with tickets. I, I, I literally clothing. did tell them, like, hey, if you want to pump through the the hose, whatever you got to pump through into like a keg for me, I don't care. I'll just yeah. I'll filter tap it up out. and I'll drink it out. Some but. goat cheese, uh, <laughs> some yeah. something on there to uh, filter out the sh- the stuff and then drink the beer. Yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, my, and and it, you know my. My like, hey, there's a problem. Let's fix it. My response was, well, why don't you just do twelve ounce bottles? I mean, like, I'm in. Like, do that. Yep. Yeah, I got some little Coca Cola bottles at home. They're like yeah, single. They're doing twenty two ounce That'd bottles. Be great, like they, eight ounce bottle, ten ounce bottle. But I'm not going to complain about the crawler. No, the no. thirty two ounce That's crawler, a good crawler. Where we're probably going to have to like, we, you know, the show will be over and we'll still be yeah. sitting here for a half so, an hour. A bit, depends on the beer, you know, right? Like a 32 ounce crowler of uh, some beer might might be too much. That I don't know if it's no, if that's enough. That's there's a little bit left <laughs> after I poured another glass. But Charlie just topped off again. Yeah, I'm just I'm brimming it right up to the top. This is delish. So that was uh, we man. have an after potty. Oh, we do. Uh, what's uh, what's that? I don't know. I'm going to pop one of these ones down here by my feet. Okay. I don't care what right. it is. Hey, uh, are you guys, I got, you know, if you want to do a third beer, a fourth beer. No, we're not doing fourth. a third beer? Steve's Come done. On. Look at him, man. He's had too much. It's a Shut him so down. So we we'll, can, we'll pop one as we, as we close down. Okay. You guys have, you guys have one to, um. Yeah, I got a wine. little, uh, gin barrel aged blueberry and, uh, black currant sour. Mm. Okay. okay. Just a little taster. Mm. You know? Perfect. It's at New Atlantis. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start wrapping this up. You, uh, do you have it with you? I, it's in that cooler right oh, there, uh, sir. Charlie, you grab that. I'll start. Uh, I'll start. Uh, You're still doing the velvet voice part. The vel- velvet voice, man. So, uh, so today we uh, we covered a, a little forager, the Pluffinade. It's uh, it's border battle opponent, the the Drecker brains with uh, guava, tangerine, and uh, mango. Both of them phenomenal beers. That uh, that that brains the double double sour was was lights out. That color on it was amazing. Uh, and then you know Josh uh, Josh showed up with that Mostratones, which um, it, I mean, uh, unbelievable. So the um, 
as it is, uh, thanks for listening. Feel free to um, recommend us to, to any of your craft beer friends or family. Uh, once again, uh, just head on over to the podcraft.com uh, for all links to your um, to your flavor of, uh, of podcasts. Whatever you want to listen on is how I say it. Whatever you want to listen on, yeah. as Charlie says it. And the Amazon thing finally came through. It did. Just Sony. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But it's weird. It's called the Amazon Music Podcast. It's like, uh, we're not really a music podcast. Yeah. I'm hey, confused. We'll sing. Right. <laughs> I, I can. I can. Cut more beers. We can sing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A few here. more beers. Yeah. Josh will be singing. Get some Oktoberfest chants going. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Ziggy, zaggy, zig. No. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for listening. Next week, uh, we'll see you again. Cheers. Cheers. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.